the boiler was installed in 1958. It was installed when the building was built, in fact. We have two boilers, uh, but we've operated one as standby, historically, and also did the same thing after burner booster was installed. It didn't come online, uh, wasn't required during the entire season. Historically, these boilers have gone off on reset during the heating season, perhaps as often as one to three times a week. That has not occurred since burner booster was installed. Uh, huge difference in particulates, exhaust, uh, cleanliness of burn. The tubes in the boilers appear as though they were gas boilers. They're bone clean after a full heating season. I can tell you what we said. Um, it appears to be a little over 29 percent based on uh, adjustment for degree days and demand. Pretty good results. We saved roughly this season about six thousand uh, dollars. That's a pretty good ROI. <laughs> I talked with three other facility managers prior to committing for installation of the burner booster and they pretty much told the same story. Um, savings were in excess of what was estimated by the company. Reliability was enhanced and they had roughly the same experience with particulate matter and exhaust gases. Um, so we pulled the trigger, no question whatsoever. It seems to me that if a user spends probably ten to ten thousand dollars or more on heating fuel in a commercial or industrial setting their ROI is likely to be uh, at least as high as ours if they have uh, equipment that's been in place for longer than ten or twelve years. I'd recommend it to anyone who uses uh, in those volumes.